This may well be old news, but this is my first time looking at the uh, throws, uh, Lamar Jackson throws uh, versus Denver, which was his last action in 2022. This is a snag concept uh, real quick. What we're looking for here is for number one, this out, this bottom of our screen receiver uh, to run up on the feet of this defender. They're really trying to stretch this flat defender uh, with this concept. This is our number one. This is two. This is three. Two is going to run normally some kind of corner out of this. And you get this flat route here by the number three or the tailback. So he's going to run up, replace the feet. Uh, make him uh, stressed, uh, make him make a decision. Quarterback reads that right away, gets the ball out quickly. Denver's going to drop this D end into coverage, uh, send this linebacker, and Justice Hill is not able to pick him up. The idea here on third and five is to get some space in the middle for Mark. Mark is going to run uh, an angle that kind of splits the two defenders. Number one to that side uh, runs a drag. and He's going to pull this, the attention of the hook defender. Lamar, I believe, intentionally works to this side. We can look at the other angle. Um, you see him move to that side of the pocket. He's pulling this defender to that side. And as I said, this breaks down because of pressure. Watch it from this side. I don't think Lamar feels this pressure. I think this is intentional. You can see it's working to good effect, but the pressure causes this ball to come out uh, not as intended. Lamar's going to get sacked. I'm going to put this on him. I think he holds the ball here. He's waiting on Mark on that deep cross. Uh, one thing you notice, just even in the three series, is that this flat area is open. I don't think the Ravens did a good job of exploiting that. Um, you see man coverage to this side. You see this defender run away from the flat. I think Lamar needs to see that. You see the receiver with his arm in the air. You also have somebody open underneath. This is first down. First down, he's got somebody wide open. He's holding this football. He does not see the flat. As I said, we'll, we'll see that on a few plays where the flat comes open. And he's got an opportunity here to hit either of those. And I think he's just too, uh, at this pr on this particular play, too um, reliant on what's going on with Mark and that cross. I want to take a look at this play from both angles. Uh, first and 10, Lamar is going to scramble and pick up nine yards. Again, we have Duvernay in motion. Again, no one takes him. I think Lamar needs to get this football out. Um, if you look at the overhead, the, the, the thing I want to point out about this is that this route, uh, Duvernay in motion, happens to my count three times in the three series. And it seems to be run with less and less urgency each time and that sort of uh, befuddles me that that there's not more attention being paid to this i think it's in three separate series we see this sideline route come open and we see the backs of the defenders away uh, from the route and yet it, it it isn't apparently is not pointed out on the sidelines i'm not sure uh he's also got mark here open early he's indecisive mark sits that down watch it again Third and nine, uh, Broncos send six. Lamar's got to get this football out to one of these as hot right away, uh, even though they're short of the sticks. Somehow makes it a miraculous throw. Look at it from this angle. Uh, he sees that pressure coming. Again, I think he should get this football out. You can see him pump, pull the ball down. Uh, his eyes come back to likely side at that point. It's too late. Again, he kind of makes this miraculous throw. Watch it again. The Broncos get the Ravens here by dropping this outside linebacker. They're running a similar concept, the Ravens are. Um, 
to what we saw uh, first in the video. Uh, they're running counter opposite. I don't think the, that, that Lamar is reading this end at all here. I think this is predetermined. He's going to hit one of these two receivers. And again, I think Denver gets them uh, by dropping the outside linebacker. Uh, perhaps that should be built in that the quarterback reads that because they do have uh, room to run the football to this side. Uh, and they don't have numbers. Do pick up a few yards on second and nine. Watch it again. We're going to look at the, the injury play or the sack that injured Lamar. I'm sure it's been covered extensively. Once again, we see that, that motion opposite by uh, DuVernay and released to this side, not covered. Um, Lamar are, is looking for Mark here. Mark is literally triple teamed. You've got a double team here. I'm not sure, sure why they're not looking to hit this route, and I'm talking about on the sidelines. Let's get a look at it from this angle. There's the motion by DuVernay. A chip by Andrews. Quick work there on the outside by the, the uh, linebacker on the tight end. Looks like Lamar, is his eyes are to that side. He comes off what is a triple team of Mark. Mark's triple teamed here off of play action, essentially. He's off of that pretty quickly. I'm not sure why this football's not out, uh, except for the fact that DuVernay has his back to the ball. And I think Lamar probably wants to get that to him. So we do see Lamar, at least it appears to come off that triple, come off this double team to this side. Uh, this receiver's doubled effectively. And make his way over to this read. 